At the beginning of the 19th century, Zermatt was a poor village in which the people struggled hard to survive. But the arrival of Edward Wimper from England on July 12, 1865 was a turning point in the fortunes of Zermatt and a milestone in the history of Alpine tourism. Wimper wanted to be the first to climb the Matterhorn. On the eve of the dramatic expedition, Wimper worked out a plan of attack with his six companions. And then we continued to the top. Cheers to the Matterhorn! The expedition got an early start. With Wimper were the two local guides, father and son Taugwalder, the French guide Michel Croix, and Lord Francis Douglas, Reverend Charles Hudson, and the inexperienced Robert Haddow, all from England. The team made quick progress. By the afternoon, they'd set up camp for the night. Beside the campfire, only one thought was on the minds of the climbers. We'll beat those Italians. <laughs> the Italians had a day's head start with the aim of ascending the Matterhorn from the south, but they were cautious. The next day, Wimper and his team got an early start. The route became increasingly steeper, leading through rocky clefts. But the party made surprisingly good progress. The only problem was the high temperature, which forced the determined pioneering group to take frequent rests. Step by step, they approach the summit. Will they be the first? Only a few steps separate Wimper and his group from the summit. At 1.15 in the afternoon, it's all over. The Matterhorn has been conquered. Only one question is still unanswered. Crow, look down there. For the Italians, the ascent was a nightmare. Defeated and disappointed, they head back down to the valley. A bottle with the names of the first men to climb the Matterhorn is left at the summit. The team begins the descent. In spite of the assistance of the guide Kroh, the young and inexperienced Haddo has serious problems. 